gon' give it to ya Hex gon' give it to ya He gon' give it to ya He ain't never gave nothing to me The first stop on our tour is Gallagher Student Center. This is the most frequently visited student services building on campus. There's a variety of things to do when you're in Gallagher. As for food, there's Coffee Emporia, Blue Gibbon, Subway, and Ryan's Pub. As far as student services go, they have the printing station as well as the bookstore where you can purchase your textbooks and any other convenience items you may need. Uh, Gallagher also has many offices such as the Commuter Lounge and the Center for Faith and Justice. Another part of Gallagher that I really enjoy is the theater. You can watch shows there, you can get your tickets from the box office, and there are even classrooms. I would highly recommend that you get involved in the theater in some way. Also, Gallagher is open 24-7. Now here's a student's perspective on Gallagher Student Center. Hi Trey, how do you find the Gallagher Center useful and what's your favorite part about Xavier? Um, my favorite part of the Gallagher Student Center is I can do, print my assignments and I can go to Coffee Emporium. Okay, and your favorite part about Xavier? Um, everyone's just so welcoming. I just really like how nice everyone is. You know, you really make friends really easily. Yeah, I totally agree. Thank you. Thank you. Now here's a little bit of freshman advice. First, in an article from USA Today, they say, don't be afraid to ask for help. And I can totally attest to this. Um, I've been to many of my professor's office hours, and it's been really helpful. A few of them have, like, critiqued my papers, and it's also nice to just, like, form that relationship with your professors. Another thing from quintessential careers is that you should not feel pressure to make a hasty decision about your major. I'm still exploratory here at Xavier, and it's totally fine. I'm getting my core classes out of the way. You don't really have to make the decision until the end of your sophomore year, so don't feel like you have to have a decision coming in. The second stop on our tour is the Academic Mall. Some of the buildings included is Albers, Alter, Edgecliff, Hinkle, Logan, and Shot Hall. Many freshman students will have their classes in Alter because that's where your core classes are, such as your first year seminar or your GOA classes. Another important building on campus is the CLC. The CLC provides many resources to the students on campus, including the Digital Media Lab, which we're in right now filming, uh, also the Career Development Office, the Library, and the Writing Center. Another important building on campus is Bellarmine Chapel. Being a Jesuit university, the chapel is really important to student life. But if you're not Catholic, there are many other opportunities for you to practice your faith. Of course, there are many other important buildings on campus. We just decided to highlight these few. Hi, what's your favorite part about Xavier and what do you think the value of the core curriculum is? I love Xavier because of the close-knit community that we have. It's very diverse and people come from all over the place and they just seem to like connect really well together. And the core curriculum definitely gives me a better like understanding of the world and ways to go about like thinking about things that I encounter. Awesome, thank you. Thanks. And now here's another little bit of freshman advice. First, in an article from Huffington Post, they said to prioritize balance. And I think that's really important that you find a balance between your schoolwork and like fun things that you do around campus. Like Maggie and I were on an intramural basketball team together. We lost, but we still had fun with it and it got our mind off of schoolwork and I think that's really important. I think that that's really important too. And another thing that I find that would be really helpful is to find a quiet study space or a pl space where you can do your homework effectively. Uh, for example, I was studying in the basement of our residence hall and it just didn't work out. So now I'm studying at Alter and it's quiet and all the classrooms are open and it's just really working for me. Our third stop on the tour is Hoff Dining Hall, also known as the CAF by many students around campus. Um, I was very surprised with the amount of options when I first came to Xavier and I have to say my favorite part about the CAF is the sandwich line. Uh, my favorite would probably be the burger line or the dessert because who doesn't like dessert? Um, there are options for you if you're vegetarian or vegan or if you're looking for a low fat or heart healthy option, you have many options for you. I would say that the only downside of the CAF is that it closes at 8, so if you are hungry past 8, you have to find other options, but there are many on campus that you're sure to find one that you like. Um, if you live on campus, you're required to have a meal plan. There's Xavier Blue, Xavier Silver, and Xavier White. But if you're a commuter, there are different options for you. And you can find the details about these meal plans on Xavier's website. Hi Cassidy, what's your favorite part about the CAF and what's your favorite part about Xavier? My favorite part about the CAF is definitely the build your own pasta line. And then my favorite part about Xavier is um, their focus on academics, but that's not all it is. Like you can have fun and do other things. Awesome, thank you. No problem. Now for some more freshman advice. I would recommend that you get to know the people in your residence hall as well as your roommates very well. 
Uh, you don't have to like your roommates because you have so many other people in your hall. So if it works out that way, it works out that way. Also, if you get a doorstop and leave your door open, that gives you so many opportunities to meet people. And these people can end up being your best friend throughout college. Um, they could be your study buddy, your workout buddy, your calf buddy, any of that. Um, also, from the same Huffington Post article from my last piece of advice, they said that make sure that you take care of all of you. So not just your physical health, but your mental health, emotional health, financial health, and social health. College is a huge change, and it's really important that you, uh, if you need help, you ask for it. Like, there's tons of people around campus that are willing to help you. And there's also McGrath, which is the health center, and they have counselors there that can talk to you if you need it. So, like, everybody here is adjusting to new college life, and it's a big change. And we all understand that people go through things. So if you ever need help, just ask for it. Don't just sit in your room and stew about it in your head. Just ask for help if you need it. Our last stop on the tour is the Cintas Center. I'm sure all of you guys have heard about how successful the men's basketball team here at Xavier is. That's actually how I got interested in Xavier University because I wanted to go to a school that had really good athletics so I could have some fun with that and go to the games. Women's basketball and volleyball are also held in Cintas Center and people do go to those games too because as Jillian said, all of the games are really exciting and it's really awesome that everybody comes together to support our teams as a school as a whole and we can put our effort and excitement towards them. Um, another fun fact about the Cintas Center is that they have classrooms for the student athletes which they're really nice and it's helpful for those athletes because it helps them balance their schoolwork and practice. Hi Kara, what's your favorite part about Xavier and what's your favorite part about the Cintas Center? My favorite part about Xavier is definitely the size. Having like small classes where it's more discussion based than lecture based helps me learn and I think it's really valuable. And my favorite part about Cintas is definitely going to the basketball games because all the energy in the student section is crazy. People are so excited about it. Oh yeah, I totally agree. Thank you. Yeah. Since this is our last little bit of advice we're going to give you guys, we're going to give you a little extra. So my first piece is don't be quick to judge others. Go into college with an open mind. You're all different people from all different places. And because somebody's different from you, doesn't mean that you can judge them for how they've grown up. So just be kind to everybody. Yeah. Going with that, um, another piece of advice that I would give you guys is don't forget to call your parents. Your parents love you, they raised you for 18 years, and they're going to miss you. So don't forget about them, even if it's just like once every two weeks. Just be sure you call them and keep up with them. Yeah, definitely. Also, on campus, make sure that you try something new. Uh, club day is at the beginning of the semester, and there's tons of different clubs you can join. And don't be scared of like judgment from other people. You need to do something, like get involved with something you wouldn't normally do. If you don't like it, you can quit it, but at least you could say you tried it. Yeah, and make sure that you don't join every single club possible because it's going to make you overwhelmed, which leads me to my last bit of advice. Don't or feel prepared to be overwhelmed. Like, you're going to come into college and you're going to have a bunch of hard classes going towards your major at a whole new environment. So that's overwhelming and it's scary. So just be ready for that. And it's going to be fine. Talk to somebody about it. Just be ready. You're good. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed and that you can take a little bit of advice for your first year away from this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, share with your friends and family. Uh, can't wait to see you all here at Xavier in the future. Go, Go X! X. Come on, X gon' give it to ya, he gon' give it to ya, X gon' give it to ya, he gon' give it to ya.